Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for August. This is a mid-month update and I just thought I'd show you Nicholas because he just joined us for the reading. So, uh, he is very busy over there. So, let me angle this down so we can see the cards now. I do feel like there's some back and forth, back and forth uh, going on. Now, this can be a legal situation when I get this. There may be, um, I'm getting something about someone's trying to decide if they want to pay for, uh, I feel like this is paying for child support, child uh school something about schools so this could be a, a divorce situation maybe someone's in negotiations with the divorce that um, I get bantering back and forth back and forth that's one of the things that's coming up here but um, let's see what the cards have to say uh, I also feel that there you know is some arguing or arguments and I feel like I feel like you can work through this if you are able to you know see your side but also look at it from the other person's perspective like by adjusting the way that you talk or communicate with the other person I think that if you're having some troubles, you'd be able to get through through them. Uh, but it's going to take two people. Okay, something, this just hopped, so I'm going to start here. Okay, let's go. The Knight of Wands. So, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Six of Pentacles. This usually does come up for me when there is possibly something legal going on. The Empress. The Lover's Card. Okay, I'm laughing because it just came up in um, the last two readings that I did. Love is definitely in the air. I said that with uh, Sagittarius and it also came up for Libra interestingly enough though it was the bottom card for both of those readings oh and look at that and the, the air signs whenever the lover's card comes up for me especially in a love reading well and we have a number three there can be a, th a three-party situation but usually the lovers is a major decision that needs to be made uh, so let's see what's underneath oh wow the devil card okay I'm feeling it two different ways I feel like um, Somebody's not happy in a love situation and they may be dealing with their own inner demons and um, spiritual demons. And what I mean by that spirit is drinking alcohol is how it's coming across to me. But it can be another um, another addiction that somebody is having to deal with. And it's affecting a love situation. And uh, you have a decision of whether or not you're going to stay with this person. Now, for some of you, I feel like you most likely have had enough of the situation and are going to be leaving if you have not left already. There is the possibility, though, that somebody can be returning. Both of these court cards that showed up, are, they're not kings, they're knights. And if you look at them, they're both coming back in. There's the energy of going backwards. So you definitely want to pay attention if you are in a situation where you feel like it's uh, you're taking a back step and not moving forward in the direction that you want to when it comes to love, okay? Now, 
Somebody may be also very angry. Sometimes this doesn't necessarily represent people, but it's energies where there's a lot of hasty, um, harsh words, arguments, as I spoke of at the very beginning of the reading, and lashing out. And somebody may have like two sides to them. Uh, when things are really good, they're good. But when like, whether it's an addiction that's affecting them or when things are bad, they're really bad. And so you have to decide whether or not you are going to remain in a situation like this. For some of you, it can be, uh, I feel like you're the one in the driver's seat. Now, for some of you, because I am reading for thousands of people, this somebody could be cross-watching, or this could be that somebody's feeling this way about you, and you're the one with the addiction. Now, this addiction can also be addiction to a person. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, gambling or drinking or drugs or sex or, I mean, it can be addiction to a person. So... Uh, just be careful and make sure that in the relationships that you are where you want to be and that you're not falling back into patterns or old ways of thinking. Oh, sorry, my battery's about to die. So, um, but just be careful that you're not falling backwards. Um, and that you have the, all the information that you do about where you stand, what you're wanting. And because this also can represent somebody new that's coming in. Now, this can represent somebody from your past, but it can represent new energy. And then you have to decide between two people what you want to do. Could be, uh, I mean... You are an earth sign and Taurus is here. Capricorn may be a significance, but we do have the air signs and the fire signs, if I didn't say it already, are Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So there may be a choice between a fire and an air sign, but again, they don't have to be those signs. Uh, it could also be traits or qualities of the person. So these are some messages that are coming through. Remember, if this doesn't resonate, watch your moon and or rising sign. And of course, if you'd like a detailed reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Also, make sure that, you know, you're putting in and getting back equally. Because this card, sometimes for me, you know, again, we have two sixes here. Uh, this can represent a legal situation, but it also can represent that you're putting in a lot of time and energy and possibly even money and not seeing a lot in return for it, that the other person isn't putting in the same amount, okay? All right, I will talk to you soon, Taurus. Bye.